everyone, so in this video I'm going to be doing a drugstore lipstick review and this is going to be a lipstick review video part one and then I will do a part two which I will be doing um, high-end lipsticks and so that's stuff that you get from Ulta and Sephora. Okay, and I will swatch them on my arm for you as well so you can see what they look like on my skin tone and kind of what the sheen is because um, I can talk about them but it's not going to help you actually see what it looks like so all right let's get started okay so first off I have the covergirl lipstick this is I don't know what kind of lipstick it doesn't say but it's just in the shade sweet tangerine 285 and let's see like this and this one is just a pretty average lipstick um, it doesn't have amazing staying power but it's pretty good for the price I guess um, this is the only lipstick I have by covergirl actually so obviously I'm not too into their lipsticks I don't think they have a very good color range in my opinion so not too much to say about that one. I don't wear it too often. Next, I have the NYX Matte Lipstick. That's all it says. Matte Lipstick. Still have the plastic on it. Um, it is in the color MLS25. So not very descriptive, but it is kind of a nudie peach color. And it's... It is pretty matte, which I actually don't like this one very much because I'm not a big fan of matte lipsticks and this one just looks super weird in my opinion on my lips. It makes them look really dry. Um, it is a really nice color and it's a pretty good price. So I'm gonna probably try this in different colors and see if I can find one that I like. Um, so off to a pretty bad start, but we're getting into some good ones, so, okay. So next I have the L'Oreal Color Riche lipstick. This is in the color The Muses Kiss, and this one is actually part of their Project Runway collection, which was a few years ago, so it's actually kind of an old lipstick, but I really like it. It's a really pretty color. And it has like a little duo tone to it and it does have really good staying power and it smells I, I keep trying to think of what the smell is and I can't put my finger on it but it just reminds me of something it's so weird but I really do like this lipstick it's a good L'Oreal has pretty good lipsticks and I love this color a lot um, it's really good for spring and summer um, but it's it's really pretty. So next I have the NYX Butter Lip Balm and this one is in the shade Macaron. Macar Macaron? It's only one O so okay, I don't know if you can see it but um, I like this as a tinted lip balm because it doesn't do much other than that. It doesn't stay very long. It does smell pretty good. And it has a little bit of glitter, which is why I got it. But, I mean, as you can see, it's pretty sheer. Okay, next up, I have all of my Maybelline ones. So this is a huge, I have a bunch of Maybelline. I love Maybelline. I think that their lipsticks are the best drugstore lipsticks ever. They were my favorite lipstick out of all lipsticks until I found the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks, which are well, $10 more, I think. So they're a little bit more pricey, but the Maybelline ones are a great alternative. They have a really great color range and they just stay all day and they moisturize my lips and they also have different sheens to them so they have sheer they have matte they have um really thick ones really thin ones it's really great 
and I just I love them and so the first color I have is the color sensational in disco pink and this one and I have another one I don't remember which one it is but some of them smell like Fruit Loops and this is one of them and it's just oh, I got on my nose but it's really it's I love it and it has this really cool little sparkle in it and it's great I just love it so I really really recommend getting a Maybelline lipstick and everyone I know that I force it on they love the Maybelline lipsticks so you need to get one of these so the next Maybelline lipstick I have is in the shade tinted taupe so it's a brownish color it looks a little pinky but it is good for fall and winter and you can just see just how moisturizing that is like it just looks moisturizing and it really is and the next one I have is in plum shine which is another glittery one so this is my one yeah this is the one that smells like Fruit Loops so the really sparkly ones kind of smell like Fruit Loops oh my bad and this one's also brownie color So it's plum, but it has a lot of sparkle in it, which I really like. And my next Maybelline color is in Ruby Star. And this one is a reddish color. So this one is the only one that I've had problems with. It is kind of thicker and it doesn't spread as easily and I, so I do have problems with this one but if you like liquid lipsticks you might like this one because it, it reminds me of a liquid lipstick but I usually put a different lipstick on top of it just because I do have problems with this one and I, okay so I turn the flash off to see if that will help because I was getting shadow and my next Maybelline lipstick is in the shade Pinkalicious and this one is a really good nude color for me because it is it does look a little brownish pink but I really really like this color as a nude you can see that's a little pink I really like it I actually keep one of these in my purse at all times. And the next one is in Warm Me Up, which is also a nude color, but it has more of a taupe undertone to it. And it's, it doesn't have any sparkle in it. Okay, and my last Maybelline color, it was a lot of Maybellines, is in the shade Pink and Proper, which is also kind of a nudie pink for um, springtime and summer, and it has a little bit of a sparkle to it, but not too much, so I really like that. Okay, moving on, so the next product I have is by L'Oreal. It is the L'Oreal Nude Balm. It is in the color Rose Elixir and these are more like a tinted lip balm. It's a nude balm and but I really like the way that these make my lips feel and they just kind of give my lips a little bit of a tint. So if I don't want to have like too bold of lip this is really good and I have I have two of these so I really like them because they just just have a little little bit of color and the other one is the pop balm so this one has more color to it than the nude one obviously and this one is in bold blush so actually I think I might have used this just a couple of times so these aren't my go-to lipsticks but they are good if I'm going to the beach or something because then I 
just want something to moisturize my lips but still have a little color. So these next two are by Maybelline as well because I love Maybelline and these are the color whisper so they're kind of just like the the balms by L'Oreal but they have a little bit more color to them and so this one is in the shade who wore it redder and I really like this one because it reminds my lips of like juice or like a flower because it just gives them this little little tint and um it's really really moisturizing so it kind of looks like the color is like coming from inside my lips I don't know how to explain it but I like it I've had this forever too <laughs> you can't tell it's fading this one is completely faded too because I take this one to the beach all the time this one is in a pinup peach I don't know if it smells but so they're just really moisturizing and really pretty really nice and tiny and they just go on really well so I really recommend those if you like color but you don't want it to be like your painting color on your lips like lipstick is where it just is like lathered on there these are just more sheer and natural looking and they're just really pretty and moisturizing so next up I have the L'Oreal Color Riche Lipstick in Blushing Sequin, and I really like the packaging on this one. I feel like they're always changing their packaging because I have like three Color Riche lipsticks and they all have different packaging to them, so I don't know. But I like this one, and but it isn't in the traditional lipstick, so it looks a lot like the Balms do, where it's in this shape to it, and it does have the same texture to it. So it's not a traditional lipstick. So I don't know why it's in their um, Color Riche collection. But it's really good. So my next one is also L'Oreal Color Riche in the shade Fresh as a Rose. And you can tell the packaging is different. I don't know. But um, I wear this one all the time. All the time. So I've like worn it down. But I really like this one. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it. And it does last pretty long. All of these are really moisturizing, all the L'Oreal ones and the Maybelline ones I really like. And so you really can't go wrong with either of those two, L'Oreal Color Riche or the Maybelline Color Sensational Collection. They're amazing on my lips and so good for the price and such a wide variety of colors. So really check them out. So this next one is actually one of my favorites. I don't even remember buying it but it is the it even it looks really old i don't it's nyx and it's just lipstick it doesn't it just says lipstick so they have like 10 different kinds of lipstick and i think i found the, the kind that this is but it's so it looks it comes in this packaging and they do have this kind of packaging still, but it just says lip smacking fun color. So it looks so much older than this one, you can see. So I really don't know, but I, I love it. And I actually forgot about it for the longest time. This is in the shade Rose. <laughs> and I forgot about this one. And then just a couple weeks ago, I went to put it on and it was just amazing. It's more matte which I, like I said, I don't really like matte, but it lasts all day long, all day. And the one that I think this is, is only like three bucks, three or four bucks at Ulta and Target. So I really, I wanna buy another one, but they don't have a wide variety of colors. There's only like maybe 10 colors of what the lipstick that I think this is. It doesn't look matte when I swatch it, but it does dry pretty matte on my lips and like I said it stays all day long so I really recommend trying to find whatever this is <laughs> and getting it in the limited colors that they have and I will probably just go ahead and buy one of those and then see if it is the same and I will post it on Instagram if it is because it's amazing and I didn't know I don't know why I just kind of left it in the back for so long but it's really good my voice is really strained for some reason 
I was talking a lot today, so that's probably why. So the next one I have is this Revlon Matte Balm. And this is in the shade Elusive. And it does look kind of like a nudie color. Nudie. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a nude color. And it smells like peppermint, which I really, really like. I think that's why I bought it, because it smells like peppermint. And it's also, it goes on pretty smooth. It is, it's matte, obviously, a matte balm. But I do, I really like it. It doesn't stay very long because it is a, like a lip balm, basically. But it's not drying, which a lot of matte lip products tend to be. So I really, I really like this. Um, the only thing is, it's so big because I don't feel like I'm going to use it that often just because I have so many colors similar to it and I'm not crazy about the way I look with matte lipsticks. But, I mean, it's good if you like balms and you like matte because it is a matte balm. So, that would be the product for you. And then, last but not least, is I got this in my Ipsy bag. And this is what I'm wearing on my lips now. And so it's teeny tiny because it came in Ipsy. But it, it is the Pixie by Petra. So you can pick this up at Target. And it is in the shade Rose Naturel. And I used this in the first video I filmed, which I'm not sure if I'm going to put it up or not. But this, I really, really like. It's teeny, teeny, tiny, and it's brown. I don't know why it looks so pink. Maybe it'll look brown later. But it does look... Yeah, it looks pink but it's more brown in person and this does stay all day long I love it I even went on Ipsy's website to review it and I gave it like a five stars or hearts whatever you give it because I really do like it the only thing is in the store I haven't I don't think I've been able to find it or I'm like too scared or something but because it has different packaging because this is obviously just a trial size one and so they don't sell it like this but I really I really do like it it's so moisturizing it has great pigmentation it lasts all day long and it is more pricey though that's another reason why I haven't bought one yet because their products are a little bit more pricey for the drugstore so I can't really justify buying it yet but we shall see okay so that's the end of the drugstore lipsticks um, kind of boring, I know, because I don't really have too much to say about them. I love the Maybelline and that NYX one and the Pixie one, and the others are just pretty regular. Um, I mean, the colors is really what I wanted to show you guys for the most part in this video, but let me know which lip products from the drugstore that you like and which ones that I didn't mention that I need to try, and then my hand um and then i will probably post a picture on instagram once i get those and can do some more comparisons with that and i will post all of these swatches on instagram as well so you can go check that out and then it will be a nice picture whereas this is more of a video um so then you can go back and reference that when you're looking for shades and whatnot and then check out the part two video, which will be lipsticks that you can get from Ulta and Sephora. So the more high end stuff. And so yeah, check that out and leave a comment on what you want to see, what types of videos. And I'm, this is my second video, so I'm super awkward still. But uh, leave a comment and like and share and just tell me what you want to see. And I would really appreciate that. So thank you for watching. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get this online. Hopefully this weekend. And yeah, thank you for watching. And let me know what you think. Thanks.